greetings from Moonwalk, the cruise vehicle in Chandler, Arizona. Uh, yeah, I saw another cruise vehicle in this neighborhood. Um, it was, uh, I think it was also empty. I didn't quite tell. Uh, my overall first impressions are uh, that the steering and braking are very robotic. Uh, we've been remote assisted one time. I think it was too close to a stop sign pole that was in the middle of the road. So I had to back up, reverse, and try again. Um, so mostly we've just been bouncing around this neighborhood here. Um, but yeah. Hey, I'll say smooth ride. Very nice. One thing to note is that uh, Mr. CEO Kyle Vogt shot down my idea of a third person screen on Twitter and he compared it to the Prius with the how the regenerative braking was adding power to the system. And you can notice right here, there is actually a display that's showing the regenerative braking. Uh, so Mr. Vogt, I propose to you that your car is doing the same thing you were making fun of. Yeah, I don't think we've gone over 25 yet. It's also sticking to neighborhood roads. Uh, yeah, which is cool. Nice and easy start. Um, yeah. Not much to say. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I think they, they literally covered up the lights. There's black tape. If, I, if those are the lights, then hey, you know, okay. That's a little weird, but whatever. Um, there's also a smartphone taped to the ceiling. It's an iPhone? <laughs> is that how they're doing GPS? There's an iPhone taped to the ceiling? Is, is that? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. One or two minutes away from my second cruise ride here. Yep. It's Moonwalk. Hello, Moonwalk. Okay, it's shifted. The door is unlocked. Empty car. I'm gonna buckle up. Excellent. All right, off we go. Okay, so my first, yeah, my first big thing with these cars, they take the turns too wide in this neighborhood and then to overcompensate by slowing down and then well actually that one was fine but you know sometimes okay we're making a right turn here uh one thing to note is that the routing is very odd at this moment i am oh oh yeah that was that's pretty robotic not gonna lie, but, um, okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's like there's some turns, it, it, it like either overcompensates or understeers or something, and then it kind of goes, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's exactly like that, exactly like that. Um, it's like, oh, I don't know what's happening, I don't know what's happening. Like, <laughs> like, whoa, that was way overcomplicated. This is, this is working, it's an empty car. Um, you know, so can't fake that, but, uh, yeah, it's right now, it's just yeah, neighborhood roads. Um, sorry, this is not up to the, the usual JJ Ricks standard of video quality, or but I didn't, I didn't know this was happening. This is like out of nowhere service pops up and so, oh, here we go, you know? Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so we are hugging the, what are we doing? It's kind of like, it's kind of tilt, it's not lined up with across the street there. I, I think it wants to go straight because there's no way it's going to turn right and go 45 on Ray Road. Okay, yeah, realigned. Okay, that turn was a little better, you know, a little bit better. Not as, not as uh, cranky. 
I'll take it, I'll take it. Really wish I could see a third person view on the screen. Nope, can't be having that. That's for skeptic people, not for nerds. <laughs> All in good fun, of course. I'm sure they have way more market research that says people don't care about the, about the third person view, but I care about the third person view. Yeah, I'm just one guy, who cares? But, uh, you know, I like, I, I kind of like it, you know? Um, what I'm noticing is it's, it's having trouble lining up for things. Like, there was that median there with the plants in it, and it's, it kind of aimed for it, and then it corrected as it got closer, rather than as a human driver would have seen it in, like, way in advance. And... Yeah, I don't know how how the driving differences differs rather between San Francisco and Chandler. Um, you know, obviously I've seen videos, but you can't really get a feel for it. Um, but you know, pe people say it's very very smooth and human like. Wow, good job, guys! Nice nice display. That is okay. There, that was an example. Of, that's another big wide turn. So these these roads have a bit extra carved out on the edge for I guess where you can fit more houses in there. Or I don't know exactly why they do that, but it it, t it tends to take that that wide, you know, rather than being like pretending the road is narrower than it is. Um, so the remote assists happened at a stop sign like this last ride. It was too close to this pole and it I guess it was confused. Oh, very. there's a bit of a brake slam there. Okay, we made it through that one, okay. Yep, good job, good job. Mm-hmm. 25 miles an hour. It's uh, yeah, it's kind of going down, not not the middle of the road, but not not the not the not to an extreme side of the road either. Just a little bit, you know. I, yeah, I guess like I would kind of do that as well because this road is pretty wide. But oh, I think this is it because this is where we started. Okay. Yeah, a bit of a slow down there, going around the car. I don't know what that, you know, trying to trying to needle, not needle, trying to trying to snake between cars, is interesting. Uh, in this, because it'll, I don't know if it kind of treats them as they're actually driving, and it's trying to avoid them, or I don't know what it's doing. It, it feel, it feel, I feel like it's magnetically attached to any car that, and then it suddenly goes around it. Okay, we are parked. That was fun. I don't know if I'm technically customer number one in Chandler, but I'm probably going to call it. Uh, all right. Thank you, Moonwalk, for the ride. And thank you for joining me. I am in position for my second cruise ride. Make that actually my third cruise ride. Here it comes. Moonwalk. It's the same car as the last two times. See if the uh... okay. First of all, back doors are unlocked. Okay, front doors are still. Oh. What's up with the seatbelt? Whoa! Hold on a second. Cool. I'm sorry. I do. I, you can hear me, sir. I think, um, I do see you got the ride started, and I'll let you enjoy your ride. And thank you for being the best part of cruise tonight. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. We're ending this call.
but we're always here if you need us. Okay, um, yeah, that was, uh, we're gonna check out the temperature, I'm gonna make it 73, and then brightness, I'm gonna turn it down, well that's nice, and I think it's on an individual basis as well, that's, okay, one funny thing you'll find, is uh, we are going uh, we're going east of Arizona Avenue where Waymo doesn't go a uh, bit of signaling there going around the truck I suppose uh, yep we are officially outside the Waymo service area so exciting <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and cross the street here how about that? Crossing Arizona Avenue in an autonomous vehicle. I haven't done that in a long time. Still kind of feels like it's not anticipating the parked cars in advance maybe I'm just kind of making that up but it seems to have a default position on the road and then only deviate once there's a parked car right in front kind of like it, it yeah it, it feels like it's So can I, can I pinch zoom on this map? I can. That's nice. Your move, Waymo. There's only two zoom levels in the Waymo map. Oh, well. Yeah, cool. Yep, everything pretty much uh, normal right about now. We are proceeding. 25 we slow down to 7 for speed bumps um, yep cool nice and easy over the ditches there So it's doing that weird thing again, where it's going to go straight here, except it tilted to the right again, and it like put on the signal for like half a second. Almost as if it intended a right turn, and then it decided, nope, we're just going straight. Um, I don't know. That's, yeah, that's happened a couple times now. That's pretty interesting. Still a nice easy 25. I'm, you know, I'm a little confused on the, on the routing here. I mean, I guess if they're gonna go ahead and, okay, yeah, that turn was a little bit more funky. Um, you know, there's a lot to be said about routing. Of course, you know, the fastest, fastest way is to take the main roads. But you know, if they're not prepared to do that, then, then you know, take the neighborhoods. But why not go down this neighborhood street? You know, there's all kinds of weird. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> for this right turn, it got rather close to the parked cars. However, it's the, you know, the classic close but don't touch. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. It's, okay, let's see, let's see actually if it does the same. Okay, yeah. It, went, it just went a little bit too far into that turn there. 
Which, it worked. It wasn't quite... It, didn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense to do that, but... Um, yeah, well... Uh, stop, yeah, stop signs feel pretty good. Um, there's another cruise vehicle right there. Just parked. Chillin'. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, in order, instead of turning left here, we're gonna go around in a right turn circle. This is a four-way stop. It shouldn't be that formidable of an opponent. Especially compared to what's going on in San Francisco, but you know, whatever. Okay, right? Uh, it's getting a little warm in here. Or... Turn it back down. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, yeah, a lot of neighborhoods. That, was, that felt a little bit weird. Yeah, it's, it's something with following the curvature. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> this is where I would have liked to have seen a third person view to see what it just reacted to, if anything. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we just proceed on like business as usual. Um, I'm glad I was recording. That's... Okay, so I could see this being a bit of a trickier turn at a different time of day. Um, it's, it's not exact, not exactly a main road, but it's it's kind of like halfway in between, like a mid neighborhood road. Um, yep, same old stop sign. Okay, so we've we've arrived pretty much at the same time as another road user, and we are okay. We're proceeding. Yep. Okay. Cool. Nice and easy. I kind of wonder what would have happened if that that, that uh, truck decided to turn a little faster. Or I guess we would have just slowed down, but you know, cool. We got a we got a garbage can in the bike lane here. Yeah, just kind of edging around that. Yeah, nicely done. We got a speed bump on a right turn. Yep, cool. All right. We've got a motorcyclist. Uh, yeah. Yep, motorcyclist. Yeah, nice, nicely handled there. Not a lot of braking. It's, I mean, yeah, I get the slowing down to seven for every speed bump, but there's also a lot of dang speed bumps. You know, so it's a lot of accelerate, decelerate, accelerate, decelerate, accelerate, decelerate. Sorry. I mean, aren't you supposed to go 20 over these? Or they don't seem like the particularly uh, tough variety. I mean, you know, safe decision and all, but. Okay, coming up on Warner Road. We're going to a stoplight. We're going to see if it does the same weird, like, point right thing. Um, no. 
Okay. Okay, we are putting a left turn signal, and then we are not putting a left turn signal? What, what, was, what was that all about? Who the heck knows? Okay, yeah, more parked car shenanigans here. It's like, it, it, it doesn't want to get close to the line. It's, it's like scared of parked cars. I've never seen that. Oh, there's a bunch of police over there. Too bad there's no third person view, so I can't see that this car recognizes them. Uh, oh well. Okay, bit of, bit of hesitation, bit of hesitation. I wish I could turn the lights on in here, but uh, nope, I'm gonna tape over those. What the heck is going on? Okay, so we turn left, and then we're reorienting ourselves. Okay, so we went like halfway between the bike lane and the, what? What? Okay, so <laughs> we, we just drove into the bike lane in order to make a left turn, which I wouldn't classify as very human behavior, but okay. Here's our new route. Okay, left turn. Pedestrian on the other side of the road. Nice little bump. Still the police. Well, yep. I wonder what we would have done there with the, the car that has its doors open. Um, okay, we are taking the correct lane. Okay, good. Left turn. It seems, yeah, I think it, still picking up on the habit here of left turns that go just a little bit too far forward and then overcompensate, and not really overcompensate, but just take it sharper rather than making it like a nice curve. I mean, that one was, that one was good. It's, yeah, it's not every time. But <clears throat> there's definitely a there's definitely something there. Um, a bit of hard braking there for I don't I don't know what actually. No, it wasn't that hard. It was just kind of cautious. Okay, so there's a cat that just crossed the street. Um, yeah, yeah, it does this. It does the thing. It goes way too far, and then turns at the last second. Like, yeah, what? What is that? Okay, part. <laughs> this is okay. That's an extreme example, I think, of of uh, what just happened there. Is it? Like, is it? Is it the same thing where it, like there's a part of the road it wants to be on, and the parked cars are just an obstacle. And so, you know, it goes around a batch of parked cars, immediately goes back to where it wants to be. And, oh, there's another one. So it goes, it's like, boom, 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 boom. Like it bounces. 
um, instead of just staying into the left side there, um, staying to the left side and, you know, going around both sets of cards, you know, there's, there's a lot of little, little things that I guess are pretty tricky that, um, you wouldn't think of just that you just do as a human driver naturally, you know, it sounds like, oh, well, duh, right? But, but no, really, it's, it's really interesting, um, uh, yeah, kind of see this, the, the company's first steps into a new area. You know, what, what changes? Okay, here we go again. Left turn. Yep. That one's good. <laughs> I just find it funny. When I got in the car, all the seat belts were done up. Like, as if they didn't expect anyone to be getting in the car, which I guess they wouldn't. Oh, what was that? <laughs> but I, I got in the car, I sat down on the seat, and I was like, where's my seatbelt? What am I sitting on? So I, you know, I just undid it, but um, yeah, anyway, that was weird. Um, maybe they don't want them flapping around for some reason? Who knows? Who knows? I wonder what Cruz's base of operations look like around here. I mean, I wonder if they picked a Walmart. Because they partnered with Walmart. But, uh... <clears throat> Turning once again. Right turn. That one was, that one was good. That's good. So once again, we're doing a, whatever the heck this is, in an effort not to turn left. We're gonna turn right, turn left, turn right, turn right, and turn right again in order to not turn left here. Hmm. Seems like more effort than it's worth, but again then again there's nobody in the front seat so I'll uh, I'll take that <laughs> uh. oh it what is it is it trailers I think is it trailers that it's having yeah so there was a bit of a, a bit of a like break boom boom like pin pinwheel back and forth um, okay, there's a storage container, yep, nope, no problems with that, okay. I feel like it's, because the other huge break, there was a trailer. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, like, try and associate a pattern here already, but, hmm. Oh, there's a cat. I didn't even see that. I guess the car did. Um, that was a good, uh, good right turn onto a street that had parked cars in the in the planned path. Or like, it would be nice if I knew the planned path, but we can't because we don't have it. Um, <laughs> uh, Yeah, it's, it's parked car, oh, what the, what are you doing? It's the, okay, I actually have, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what, it's, it's done that a couple times now. Um, we're like, there's a bunch of parked cars next to each other, and then there's some empty spaces, and then a bunch of parked cars again. And it like slows down to get in between those two batches of parked cars and then keeps going again as if nothing happened. Uh... Okay, we're doing the thing again. It's like pointing to the right. 
and then pointing to the left. The steering wheel is pointing left and the car is pointing right. So were we to continue straight, we would run right into that stoplight pole over there. But of course, we're not gonna do that because you know, it'll turn right back to the left again and off we go. Um, so yeah. stop sign it's a four-way stop so we're gonna keep going even though there's another there's a truck right there yep cool I think it was over here just go right through the crosswalk I think Waymo slows down to 15 when going through a crosswalk I don't know if it would have done for that one specifically Okay, right turn. Just kidding. Left turn. Wait, right turn again. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't know what the wheel was doing there, but uh, it was fine. an irritated probably irritated person behind us a little bit more ooh 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 oh please stay buckled up until we stop what the okay thank you stay buckled up grab all your things yep great uh i don't know what's yeah i did a little bit more of that like not heavy medium medium phantom braking um, and a bit of evasive steering as if, you know, there was something there, but there's not. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, I can see why they're not going on the main roads yet. Because <laughs> I don't think I would want to be in the back of this thing at 45 miles an hour, at least not yet. If it goes that close to parked cars, and then what the heck is it doing? I don't understand. <laughs> that's uh, that's fine. Okay. Did um. All right. Okay. All things considered, that was pretty good. So. Read or ride. Check for bikes and cars as you exit on the sidewalk side. Thanks for riding with Bruce. That's an actual voiceover instead of a robotic voice. I mean, Good afternoon, a... Joel. A robotic voice ain't bad either. Thank you, uh, Moonwalk, I guess. And I'll be, uh, I'll be off. I'm gonna take some pictures. There it goes. Off into the night.